Wow, last day of April 2010 already. Last day of April 2010. Tomorrow's May Day! May Day! But the last day of April, April 30th, 2010, it's the Parker and the Man page. Yournews.com, Mark Wilson with your webcam on this final day of April already. Just moving right along, just rolling down the river. And um, big weekend coming up in Michigan, if you don't know why, I'll tell you in a bit, uh, politically at least. Uh, but I will say this, that the Lions have a little bit of a mini camp. Yes, the rookie mini camp is this weekend. It starts today out in Allen Park. And you know I like to write about the anniversary stuff. I'm big on that, and I'm a one-trick pony. Uh, and 20 years ago, a guy named Andre Ware hit the field at the Silverdome. Uh, he was the first player picked uh, for the Lions, seventh overall in the 1990 draft. Big draft for the Lions that year. Danny Owens was there, Mark Spindler, and others. And Andre Ware came out, uh, big pomp and circumstance, big hype over Ware. He'd won the Heisman Trophy, just like Barry Sanders the year before. They really thought they had something in the guy. He, he trots out there with the number 11 in red. And he just starts firing balls into the dirt and firing them over people's heads and firing them to the side, but never hitting anybody here. <laughs> and he was allergic to the hands. He didn't like the hands and uh, the chest and all that. Couldn't find a receiver to save his life. And we were sitting there, actually standing there at the Silverdome, kind of amazed and in shock. And just uh, I turned to a couple of reporters. They come back over here and going, what, what the hell is that? <laughs> um, and it never got better for Andre in the four years he was a lion. Uh, so the piece is about how you can be a mini camp bust, and uh, obviously Dominic and Sue and Javid Best, and all the guys that are coming out uh, for the rookie mini camp this weekend, will hope to uh, 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 avoid what happened to Andre Ware back in 1990 and the small, tiny little career that Ware had for all the money he was paid to be uh, what was supposed to be the future of the Lions at quarterback. The whole Ware, Pete, and Kramer thing that happened for a couple of years, and William Clay Ford calling the wrong guy to congratulate him, and Andre Ware, I think, ended up with five touchdown passes, <laughs> you know, and they had a nice year in 91 when Ware didn't play at all, and Kramer and Pete did all that, Eric Kramer and Rodney Pete. So it's a history of that, pretty long piece, you know, suitable for framing. You might want to uh, take some time, print it out, take it wherever you need to take it, you know, if you want to read something for a while, and uh, relive the old days <laughs> of 1990 when Andre Ware came in and just impressed, um, hmm, Nobody. He's a color analyst now, ESPN. He's doing Houston Texans games. He's 41 years old. He doesn't shy away from it. I've talked to him in the last few years about, uh, you know, he doesn't like talking about the Lions here so much, but, uh, you know, that's the way it goes. That was his career, and uh, that's what the piece is about. How you can be a mini camp bust in the rookie camps, and Dominic and Sue and Javid Best and company will try to avoid that this weekend for Jim Schwartz out in Allen Park, as opposed to the Silverdome 20 years ago to the day that Andre Ware took the field for the Lions. Uh, other stuff in there, the Wings lost, uh, probably know it by now, 4-3 to three to the San Jose Sharks late last night. We stayed up in the wee hours to watch it uh, from San Jose, California. Uh, looked like fatigue at the beginning when the Sharks came out and scored three goals in a matter of about a minute and 19 seconds. That Pavelski is one heck of a player for San Jose. He might be the X factor, not Thornton, Marlowe, and Heatley, although they're good players. But this Pavelski, you know, he's, he's a scorer. He, he's going he's gonna to do some damage here. And the Wings are down 1-0, and they got Game 2 coming up on Sunday. So the second round already started. I wish they had a little more time, uh, less than 48 hours from the win over Phoenix, and they're already playing hockey again in San Jose at the Shark Tank. Rawr. Like that face? Uh, so that's it. Wings lose 4-3. to three. They put up a fight at the end. They got goals. You know, they scored three. Cleary scored. Franzen scored. Rafalski scored. But uh, Jimmy Howard uh, had a little trouble in the first period, and that was it. And they only scored one more goal. But it was enough to, be, uh, to win the game 4-3 to three at home. Uh, Portland and Dallas are out hoot, in the NBA Western Conference playoffs, and Phoenix and San Jose, uh, Phoenix and uh, San Antonio, move on. Uh, Grand Hill and the Suns, uh, Tim Duncan and the Spurs, no surprise there, I suppose. Uh, the NCAA has officially expanded to 68 teams for the uh, March Madness NCAA tournament starting next year. That means all regionals instead of just one will have play-in games. Uh, Tiger Woods shoots a 74 to Quail Hollow. He's nine shots back. He's got him right where he wants him. <laughs> uh, he'll try to make the cut today at Quail Hollow. Uh, Tampa, the Rays. How about 17 and five? The best record in baseball for 22 games since 2003. And of course, um, Tigers uh, play the Angels this weekend. They got a night game tonight, and two home games, and two uh, day games before going to Minnesota. So they just finished with the Twins. Got to go back to the Twins. And uh, wrapped around that is a three-gamer with, uh, with the Los Angeles, don't call us California, Anaheim Angels. Uh, so Dontrell Willis, give it up to you for yesterday. One win, you don't get no parade, but just a little, little hand clap 
We're all pulling for Dontrell for the D train, and he can hit P pitch very well, spectacularly, in fact, at times yesterday. So if he can keep doing that, they'll be okay. And uh, the reason it's a big weekend in Michigan, uh, the president's here. Barack Obama is in town. He's in Ann Arbor. He'll give the commencement speech for the University of Michigan. And Sarah Palin is out in, Indian, in, in <laughs> Indianapolis, Independence Township, and she's giving a speech. So Obama at uh, the big house and Palin at somebody's house. Uh, and uh, just a couple other comments. Uh, best uh, sitcom on TV right now. Just passing 30 Rock is Cougar Town. If you haven't seen it on Wednesday nights on ABC with uh, Courtney Cox and her friends, it's a terrific show. It's very funny, and it's now past uh, the 30 Rock for my favorite sitcom, 30-minute sitcom. And my Kentucky Derby pick is in the piece. So if you want to see what I pick, I'm just going to say it right now because I want it on tape. Super saver with Calvin Burrell, who won with Street Sense and Mind That Bird. He's going to do it for a third time. 15-1 odds on streets, uh, Super Saver from the fourth hole. Good spot to be in. I like Sydney's candy, but from that last spot, no way. And uh, looking at Lucky from number one, never like, a, never like a horse along the post. So I'm doing my Siobhan Magnus thing, now that she's off idle. There you go. Now she got kicked off idle. We'll miss you, Siobhan. Check it all out. The piece right there today on Andre Ware 20 years ago and how you can be a mini camp bus as the Lions begin their rookie mini camp out in Allen Park. Have a great weekend, everybody. Salute the president. Hello, Sarah Palin. That's it. Yournews.com, the Parker to Mad page.